This is the one I'm keeping. Compared to the one I'm returning. This one is a lot larger. I already did a video on that, a look at. This one, I'm going to try to see if I, I'm going to wait for the record. Before I end the video, I'll play a record on it. Hopefully, I won't get brought down. Maybe I'll change the tone or something so you don't hear it. But Or I'll just mute it. So the box itself has the same things all, all over the place. And this is the 7-in-1. It has a CD and a cassette player. FM radio. Oh, look at that. Record from vinyl to MP3. That is so cool. Okay, uh, this... There's nothing else around the box. Pretty much the same thing. It's huge. It's a lot larger. I mean, the box itself is about 22 inches wide, left to right, and 17 and a half from front to back, compared to the old one. The old one from left to right, or wide, is 17, and from front to back, it's 15, the big difference is you can just see on top of each other. It's and the options are much different. It's a lot bigger. All right, so let's open it up and take a look at the actual item. Made out of, I don't know if it's a plastic with a uh, wood finish. Okay, let's turn it upside down and get it out. Nothing else in the box. So from front to back, and then from left to right, and from the top to bottom to top. Take a 
Look at the front. That's pretty cool. This is the whole front. The speaker comes out over here. These are the speaker grills. It is so cool. It's like a 1950s dial in a, in a car. And the old radios. Power on and off toggle. Aux headphone. FM. CD, Bluetooth, aux. Record player and tape deck. Volume. Radio dial, I'm assuming. FM. I guess there's no AM radio. I don't see the AM sign. And the CD tray. Music, where's the, uh, I guess the record will be, the cassette tape will be inside. So let's open it up and take a look at it inside. It's sort of like a, a mix between the real ch cheap, uh, I think it's all plastic with uh, wood molding. It might be that cheap furniture type material, but it feels very plasticky. Okay, this is the lid. Oh, it has the uh, swing arm lock. Okay, and that's the I'll have this at the end. idea what that screw is for. Different choices of records. Pretty much everything. Let's look for this cassette player. How you're supposed to play cassette? Must be on the side somewhere. There it goes. Wow, that's pretty cool. <laughs> it's right there. The cassette player. I thought it was gonna be with the uh, one with the door that comes out. This reminds me of the eight tracks. I used to play eight tracks in my car back in the day with my dad. So I don't know if these are for vents or a speaker. USB connection to the computer. Line in and out. Again, vent or speaker. 
different information. And I don't like this. I, would, I hate when the, I dislike oh, the FM um, antenna. I dislike when the uh, cable is part of the product, the power cable. Power cable stretches. Oh, uh, a little over five feet. About uh, sixty-one and a half inches. Or so, and then that's uh, measuring thing. About 46 inches or 3 feet 10 inches. The USB is going to be about 4 feet long. I'm just going to try out the radio. I don't have a record player, a record right now. So I just plug it in, see what happens. That is cool. The whole light. Um, there's a display underneath. It's under tape. So let me switch it from tape. Record player. I think this is RAD for radio. Hey man, I lived in a very dark day. Great and get it. As a community outreach. Therapies, spiritual and barrel languages and homeland hot. First man in Look like his eyes. Uncle's radio duck. Winning Xfinity X1. Now that's simple, easy. Dominate the trails this season. Take the payments for my current product drop drive. Every declare. Oh funny. Sometimes.
$14.99 a month. And it's Your pain. 364 days. Out. They needed to find a remote. We are. Merry Christmas. Hopefully, hopefully, you got enough of. Uh, it's pretty loud. It's loud for you know. It's loud. I just didn't want to stick on one channel because of the uh, copyright situation with YouTube. So. Hopefully it won't get flagged. Uh, this is the only thing that lights up, the end over here, nothing else. As you can see, I just turned off the light on the phone filming and nothing else really lights up. It would have been pretty cool if these edges would have lit up, but you know, I like it. Now let me get a record, see how it plays a record because that's what I bought it for. Maybe I'll try a cassette tape, I'm not sure. So I was able to find a record. I hope I'll play it real quick. Hopefully it won't get flagged. Um, I'm not sure. I may just have to mute it. Sorry guys. But I'll let you know if it's actually playing. So let me turn it on. It's on. And then I have to put it on uh, phonograph. Okay. And okay. So how do you start it? Uh oh. Lift it up. Okay, I'm gonna put it down. I may, I'm not sure if I have to mute this part. Ho hopefully I don't, I'll let you know how it sounds. Make sure you take the cover off. There's a needle cover. Try not to get it flagged at all, so give me a moment, okay? I asked my quick test because I can't play it that long or else I get flagged. It's playing the song really well, and I'm surprised that the record even has um, no scratches or anything. I got this from a uh, um, Salvation Army, so it sounds pretty good uh, for it to be a uh, record player, and the record being this really, really old, as I bought it at Salvation Army, so I'm, new, I'm, I'm assuming it's very, very old. Oh, I got a couple of 45s in there, I didn't even realize. Bless his soul. The Jacksons and the Motown. Lady, you bring me up. So let me make sure that the 45s play. So you lift it up over here and then you push it over and it'll stop. You hold the records at the edges, remember? And I guess you put this down thing over here for the 45s. Let me put it on 45 over here. Okay. Put the Motown song in there. Let me see what I have. Uh, getting it, the Commodores. And lady, you bring me up. All right, let's try it out. So bring it over. Fine. Not a lot of skipping either. Oh, 
there goes the skipping. Pretty cool. So it plays to 45 with no issues whatsoever. Really cool. All right, so I hope you liked the video. I hope it was informative. I'm gonna really get a kick out of playing old record albums when I found them. I bought these at the Salvation Army for uh, 50 cents a quarter. So I'm gonna buy, you know, it just brings me back to my days. This is how I listened to music before tape decks even came out. It was this or eight track tapes. So this is just uh, brings me really back, 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 back to uh, when I was a kid. So I'm gonna get a lot of kick out of it. It's gonna be great to play these. All right, I hope you like the video. Thank you. Bye.